Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we have some killer crossover thrash metal from Pennsylvania from Reaper Metal Productions, Hails to Hellcast. This is Dick Vomit with Terminally Chill. I've been sitting on this for a while. This is a 2017 release. Killer crossover thrashing fucking speed metal. This is so good. 11 tracks. And these guys have some of the best stage names ever. I'll go over the cover art in a minute. Don't let this deter you. Great tape layout by Reaper. Awesome promo photo. So don't let that fool you. Like it might look like, you know, some Van Halen shit. It's not. Trust me. This shit rips. It's just like that MGP release last night. It's fun. Like if you need something to just chill out with, and I'm not, you know, it's terminally chill, but like, this really brings me back to like when I first heard DRI, like in 1995, I think it was. Cause I heard it in a skate video and I was just like, whoa, like what is like this? It was just awesome sounding. Like I had never really heard a band like that. I was, I was like, you know, a little kid kind of. Listen to this part real quick, and then I'll, I'll talk about this. Dick Vomit is this sick. I mean, come on. The guy's getting Colt 45 injected straight into his veins. He's got a bong back there. He's got some lines of what looks like yayo. He's in room 666. Looks like he got hurt shredding the gnar on his board. Two wheels or no wheels, man. But, uh, nah, seriously, this fucking rips. Like, See, I can't believe this is from Pennsylvania. It, it really, like, also like, kind of reminds me of early Toxic Holocaust. But not really. Like, uh, Evil Never Dies? Kind of? Like, there's that kind of early sodom -y vocal, like... It's awesome. Like, I, I, I love this stuff. But don't let the cover deter you. Like, this is really badass crossover.
was like, fuck yeah. Seriously, like, Reaper's the man, and... Yeah. I really, you know... It's not just because they're from Pennsylvania, either. But, um, check out the tape cosmetics and stuff. They're, it's just badass. Just, like, this fucking sick pink. And this is from 2017, so this is before pink was, like trending in the cassette world but reaper metal productions 23 dick vomit terminally chill it's fucking great i mean tracks like grave digger wrath of the goat sucker the unholy ejaculator <laughs> fetus snatcher hot for preacher so there is a little you know love to um van halen and terminally chill on side a Side two, Satanic Sperm from Hell. The Intoxicated Avenger, Busting a Nut, Can't w Wait to Die, but spelled with letters like W8, <laughs> and uh, Beauty of the Beast make up Terminally Chill from 2017 on Reaper Metal Productions. Killer fucking crossover thrash metal. Sick speed, sick riffs, awesome vocals. I like the gang vocals too, like they don't like they don't sound forced or anything. I know some of you might, you know, if you're like a municipal waste fan but don't really know that much about crossover, thrash and whatnot. This is one of those releases that, you know, I would consider a great underground gateway into more crossover bands and whatnot. Like, I'm sure if you like this, you're probably gonna, you know, enjoy other bands along these lines. Like, there's so fucking many, but like, one that comes to mind the most, like, Yeah, DRI is, is like, to me, the one band that, you know, when it comes to crossover, it's like, to me, that's the go-to. But, like, when it comes to Thrash, I'm a big Destruction fan, and, uh, like, hell, we helped those guys load into um, the first Unitarian Church when they were playing a show with Toxic Holocaust. And it might have been Municipal Waste, too. But also, if you like Municipal Waste and you're looking for something a little bit more underground also, yeah, this has your name written all over it. Like, you'll enjoy the humor, the kind of party metal vibe, but, like... Also, like, check out Hyrax. Like, I mean, there's a lot of kind of mediocre crossover out there. That's why I'm just kind of saying, like, DRI is, like, just one of the best to do it like just in my opinion but i really like dick vomit sound it's you know not original but still it's fucking really really fucking refreshing and good just like Like, some of the vocals are almost like Hellhammer, kind of proto-black metal, and it's awesome. So, like, seriously, this is one of those bands that, you know, if you want a taste of the past, check out Dick Vomit. And also, if you like, you know, party thrash, crossover, speed metal, you can't go wrong here. Like, you really can't. Like the vote, like it, it's awesome. And you have some of the best stage names in metal. We have Richard Puke on guitar and vocals, Peter Piss on drums and vocals, and Scrody Iomi on drums and vocals. Fuck yeah. 
So grab some dick vomit courtesy of Reaper Metal Productions and roll one up and terminally chill and blast this fucker. Maximum volume yields maximum thrash. And this is just such a fun fucking album. Hails the dick vomit, terminally chill. I don't even know how I got this, honestly. Like, this is not a new cassette grab. I was going through some of my stuff, and I was like, oh, like, Reaper Metal Productions. Like, I, I, know, I know Reaper Metal. And uh, I, I knew the name and stuff from, like, an old Hellcast episode. And I was like, oh, shit, like, I actually have a copy of this. Because I think they listened to it on one of the um, nine-second segments. And I was like, yo, this is really, like, that, that, that's cool sounding. And then I um, was, you know, looking for, <laughs> I was looking for the box of, of stinkers and stuff and trying to find some stuff that might have found its way out of the box. But like, I accidentally stumbled upon the fact that I had a copy of Dick Vom at Terminally Chill, which is why I need a cassette, like, case. I like got real, cause all my actual cassette cases are filled. Like, I'm surrounded by like 600 cassette tapes right now. Like, I'm not even fucking joking. Like, a lot are in shoe, but like, this is my music room. Cause since I broke my neck, I have to, you know, sleep in the hospital bed downstairs. But I'm like legit surrounded by tapes right now. LPs, tapes. Yeah. I just, I, I really need, like, a gnarly fucking, like, wall unit and just, like, get, just to clean up and make it organized and stuff, but if you're looking for some killer crossover fucking thrash, it's speedy, it's fucking immature in the best way possible, I mean, come on, the band's called Dick Vomit, you know what you're getting into, and, yeah, just really, really good shit here on Terminally Chill. Reaper Metal Productions, 2017 release. So, hopefully we can still get copies of this to you folks. I'm not sure, but... Hails to Dick Vomit, Killer Pennsylvania, Crossover, Thrash Metal. I dig it. I'm gonna give this, because... Just based on the fact that it was very refreshing, fun, and just had killer riffing, and... I really liked the production, everything about it was just awesome. I'm going to give this like a 8.75 out of 10, you know? If you're looking for something fun, not too serious, and like, you know, something that fucking thrashes, like hard, look no further than Dick Vomit Terminally Chill. And get Terminally Chill. So again, I have no idea how that ended up in my collection, but I appreciate whoever donated it a long time ago, and I'm so stoked that I got to, you know, play this a few times last night front to back, and was just like, yo, I need to fucking talk about this, because I don't believe I slept on this. Fuck. Yes. And also, Reaper, if you're watching this, um, your package is in the mail. Um, it has a mixtape, all the Accursed Womb, uh, promotional material, but next time, since we're sold out of both pressings of our cassette, um, I figured maybe, uh, w would you mind a CDR version with, like, uh, um, like, I, I was thinking maybe throw J-Dog, like, a, a dubbed copy. Because, like, we legit, we're, we're sold out. And, uh, like, even the distros that had a couple in stock, they're um, nearing selling out. Like, I know Life After Death has a couple copies. Uh, our label, Verminosis, has a couple copies of their website-only womb variant left also like they sold out of the fucking uh piss um 
like the Crystal Mountain clear piss shells. Like they sold out of those like really fast actually. But um, yeah, so if you want like a CDR version, let me know. Or if you want a cassette version also, I can dub you a cassette version. But, um, yeah, dude. Dick Vomit, Terminally Chill. This is some fun fucking thrash crossover Pennsylvanian goodness. And the reason I'm wearing a hoodie right now is the Velcro on my neck brace is actually broken. So I have to put my zipper all the way up. Or my neck brace comes undone and I, I, you don't want it moving around. You need it to be like extremely tight. So trust me, this is a fucking nightmare. Like when, it's a fucking inferno outside. And, you know, again, it could have been a lot worse. It could be paralyzed. It could be dead. But like, it's just, it's not comfortable. That's all I can really say. I can't complain, but it's not comfortable unless i'm like fucking baked like taking my medication you could just say oh you're just smoking weed no that's my fucking pain management like i did not i haven't taken for like they gave me some pharmaceutical pain medicine at the hospital like because i fucking fractured my skull broke my neck and tore all the muscles in the back of my neck so like dude they had me on only 10 milligrams of oxycodone like that's bullshit for a broken neck like come on that's not gonna do shit and it didn't it wasn't until i got home i got my medical card situated but in the meantime a friend of mine he happened to have his medical card and uh we gave him a couple hundred dollars he went and got some stuff, came back, and it was, you know, a fucking lifesaver. And Pennsylvania, at first I thought I was fucked because um, I, I, I screwed up when I was signing up for my uh, medical card. And I'm, like, stressing out because, like, like, I'm having to go through, like, like, my friend and stuff to get, like, my medicine. And next thing I know, my fucking... <laughs> medical marijuana license shows up in the mail i'm like yes fucking yes but here in pennsylvania it is ridiculously overpriced and it, it's such a bummer when you like are actually in like a lot of pain and it's like fuck like i i gotta conserve my like stash pretty much like but you know yesterday and Friday, I got paid, but, like, on Friday, that money went straight to my, uh, health insurance stuff. But yesterday, I, I had to get some medication, so I went to the dispensary. And, yeah, the rest of that is, you know, that's my medicine for the week. So, it, it's, it's good. I'll put it that way. Maybe I'll go over it, but, uh, anyways... If you're looking for a good time, hit up Dick Vomit, Terminally Chill on Reaper Metal Productions. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. Check out Hellcast also, and hails. Yeah.